My name is Mike Reardon. I run City Cycle and Supply Company in Clearwater, Florida, and I had some severe varicose veins, and I've had treatment for about a year and a half. What's cool about Mike is he's a Marine. He's an ex-Marine. He was in intelligence. He's strapping. He's well-built. Heck, I think he's 60 years old, but the guy looks great. Well, I was told I had varicose veins when I was in my late 20s, early 30s. He owns a bike shop, riding a bike all the time, but his legs are a mess. If you could visualize a whole lot of night crawlers being put underneath your skin. Swollen, uh, discomfort that were interfering, preventing daily activities. I said to my wife, did you know my back of my legs looked this bad? Because apparently the back of my legs looked a lot worse than the front. And the front didn't look good. We treated him, you know, mostly last year through, the, through our initial protocol. And then uh, we need to bring him back in a few months and complete that protocol. And so that's where Mike is. I'm here today for uh, one of my follow-up appointments to get some uh, varicose vein work. Uh, it's a foam treatment that I've been getting that's been working great. So we're going to go and see Mike. We're going to do some of the secret sauce at Vein 911, which is foam sclerotherapy, ultrasound guided foam sclerotherapy. Mike's been through complete treatment protocol and he has a few residual veins left over and we're going to go pick them off right now. So Mr. Mike's legs were really pretty freaking terrible and, and the only reason that his legs had not fallen off by the time he saw us was uh, he's in excellent shape. And people, you know, of ideal body weight or regular activity, they tend to mask their symptoms in some cases, but often they look worse than they feel. And uh, Mike was one of those folks, even though he's just riddled with varicose veins. And, um, and so it's been a process. Um, First of all, his bad veins are like weeds. They got roots. And we got to go through the flower bed and spray all those weeds. He was like uh, an acre lot that had been overgrown for 20, you know, 40 years. Yeah. And so easy. Um, if veins were bugs or roaches, as here in Florida, most docs spray what they see and we fumigate the leg with our foam sclerotherapy technology. So the veins can hide, but they can't run from my ultrasound machine. <laughs> Through a very tiny needle, using ultrasound guidance, we inject this foam medication into the veins. It destroys the lining of the vein on contact, and it's absorbed by your blood in about eight seconds. So we're not leaving anything behind. Um, the foam pushes the blood out of the way, acts undiluted on the vein wall. So it's, it's just really uh, amazing technology that, again, is under, under, underused in this country. Most of these have already been treated, so he's really uh, after his initial um, treatment protocol. But, uh, and he's feeling great. And for the vein docs out there, his venous clinical severity score has improved considerably. Um, and he's darn near walking advertisement, except for these ugly ankles right here. And one of our favorite terms is um, corona phlebectatica, which is even more confusing now with this virus thing. But um, in any case, this is classic corona phlebectatica. And if you've just got this, um, that's all you need to tell a vein doc that you've got advanced vein disease. So don't let any doctor tell you that swelling of your ankles is a normal part of the aging process. It's not. So here we go. That looks a lot more. Looks a lot nicer. Um, yeah, we don't stick um, these tongue depressors in people's mouths around here. We, we scrape the leg of gel with them. Pinch, that's it. You don't even feel that. If anybody's freaking out of needles watching this, it hurts more to step on a seashell. Hey, the only one who doesn't like needles is Dr. Pittman. I'm petrified of the darn thing, so. Yeah. Injecting the foam. Now. That beats the heck out of surgery. I can't, I can't use expletives, but that beats the heck out of surgery. Mm -hmm. 
And we got another target here. Um, I'll be ready in a moment. So if anyone's following along on the screen, you're gonna see some black pipes there and they're, they're tortuous or kind of twisty turny. And these are just pinch little varicose veins under the skin that we're gonna get. And um, statistically, this is gonna help Mike with his swelling. And so again, we're in, there goes the foam and the black line turns into a white line. And we're just watching the foam do its thing. Okay. Mike's a really bright guy, but don't put it off for 20 years. Don't suffer like that. There's no reason to. Vein disease can cause real lifestyle limiting symptoms. And if you don't have answers for the way you're feeling in your legs, seek out a vein care physician. Dan is gonna do a gelectomy. Don't be afraid. We, we're very protocol driven here, so we'll see Mike again two months after the treatment, reassess how he feels. The results are phenomenal. Just, you just gotta stay on top of it, be patient. We're gonna treat Mike as long as he keeps feeling better after we drop an F-bomb on him, F-bombs on him. So as long as we're, he's feeling better after F-bombs, two months later, we're probably gonna keep giving him foam. But it'll, it'll, it'll slow down and then stop. And then maybe he'll go a year, or two or three, and he'll say, Doc, I'm starting to feel that stuff again. Okay, great, let's do an ultrasound. Ah, I see a branch or two, why don't we hit it with an F-bomb? It's that simple. My legs are a thousand times better. They feel lighter. I don't have leg cramps. I don't have the heaviness. I don't feel like I have to constantly sit down and put my legs up. I want to say thank you to Dr. Pittman. The treatment I received at Vane 911 seriously changed my life for the better. I highly recommend it.